there. In our previous lesson, we talked about organic compounds. We learned that these are groups of compounds that contain the element carbon. By the way, if you still haven't watched our previous lesson, you can pause this video and watch that one first to better understand our topic today. Many organic compounds are formed because of the special characteristics of carbon. Our carbon atom has four valence electrons. This kind of atomic structure makes the carbon atom able to form four covalent bonds with atoms of other elements and other carbon atoms. Carbon atoms can also make many types of arrangements, single bond, double bond, and triple bond. With these abilities of the carbon atoms, chemical bonds between carbon atoms and other elements can form different kinds of compounds with short and long, straight and branch chain structures. Alcohols are another group of organic compounds. These organic compounds also have very important uses. Some alcohols are used as antiseptics or disinfectants. Some are used as cleaning agents. Others are used as components of liquors. And a few alcohols are used as fuel for portable stoves or other types of burners. An alcohol molecule consists of two parts. The first one has the alkyl group and the other has the hydroxyl group. For example, ethanol, the principal ingredient in alcoholic beverages, is an alcohol. It has an alkyl group and a hydroxyl group. The boiling points of alcohols increase as the number of carbon atoms increases. The patterns in the boiling point reflect the patterns in intermolecular attractions, that is, hydrogen bonding between hydroxyl groups of alcohol molecules. Alcohols are soluble in water. This is due to the hydroxyl group in the alcohol that is able to form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. Alcohols with a smaller hydrocarbon chain are very soluble. As the length of the hydrocarbon chain increases, the solubility in water decreases because it requires more energy to overcome the hydrogen bonds between the alcohol molecules. Since the molecules are more tightly packed together as the size and mass increases, Viscosity is the property of a fluid to resist the force tending to cause the fluid to flow. The viscosity of alcohols increases as the size of the molecules increases. This is because the strength of the intermolecular forces increases, holding the molecules more firmly in place. The flammability of alcohols decreases as the size and mass of the molecules increases. Combustion breaks the covalent bonds of the molecules. So as the size and mass of the molecules increases, there are more covalent bonds to break in order to burn that alcohol. Hence, more energy is required to break the bonds. Therefore, the flammability of alcohols decreases as the size and mass of molecules increases. Methanol is produced by heating wood chips in the absence of air. It is used as fuel for automobile engines and is a polar organic solvent. Ethanol is produced through fermentation of fruit juices. It is used as motor fuel or gasoline. Isopropyl alcohol is made by indirect hydration of propylene. It is used as an industrial solvent and rubbing alcohol for disinfection. Ethylene glycol is used for automotive antifreeze, an ingredient in hydraulic fluids, printing inks, and paint solvents, and reagent for explosives. Lastly, glycerol. It is a byproduct of soap manufacture through saponification. 
It is obtained by fermentation from molasses and sugar and is used as a primary explosive in dynamite, coronary vasodilator, solvent, and moisturizer. Another group of organic compounds are aldehydes and ketones. Aldehydes and ketones in combination with other functional groups are widely available in nature. Aldehydes and ketones contain the carbonyl group. In aldehydes, the carbonyl group is located at the terminal end of the molecule, whereas in ketones, the carbonyl group is located anywhere between the two terminal ends of the molecule. In aldehydes, the carbonyl group has one hydrogen atom attached to it, together and with either a second hydrogen atom or a hydrogen group, which may be an alkyl group, or one containing a benzene ring, which we'll be discussing in another topic. The simplest aldehyde is formaldehyde, which has an irritating and pungent odor and is soluble in water. In ketones, the carbonyl group has two hydrocarbon groups attached to it. These can either be the ones containing benzene rings or alkyl groups. Ketones do not have a hydrogen atom attached to the carbonyl group. Acetone is the simplest and most important ketone, which is colorless with a pungent and sweet odor. Methanol, which is a gas, has a boiling point of negative 21 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, Ethanol has a boiling point of 21 degrees Celsius. This means that ethanol boils at close to room temperature. The other aldehydes and the ketones are liquids, with boiling points rising as the molecules get bigger. The temperature of the boiling point is governed by the strengths of the intermolecular forces. The lower members of aldehydes and ketones such as methanol, propanone, and the like are miscible with water in all proportions because they form a hydrogen bond with water. As the length of the alkyl chain increases, the solubility of aldehydes and ketones decreases rapidly because the number of carbon atoms increases in chain. All aldehydes and ketones are fairly soluble in organic solvents. The lower aldehydes have sharp pungent odors. However, as the size of the molecule increases, the odor becomes less pungent and more fragrant. Formaldehyde, also known as formalin, comes from pressed wood products containing formaldehyde resins. It is used for preserving tissue specimens and embalming bodies and also used to sterilize soil or other materials. Acetaldehyde, or ethanol, occurs naturally in coffee, bread, and ripe fruit and is produced by plants. It is used in the production of acetic acid and pyridine derivatives. Vinegar is only 5% acetic acid. Propionaldehyde also known as propanol, comes from various plant sources like banana, melon, and pineapple. It is used as a flavoring agent. Dimethyl ketone or acetone is used as a solvent for lacquer, acetylene, plastics, and varnishes, and as a paint and varnish remover. Butanone or methyl ethyl ketone is an industrial solvent. It is used in the manufacture of plastics and textiles. It can also be used as a paint remover and cleaning agent. Lastly, cyclohexanone. It is used in the production of nylon. Now let's wrap things up. An alcohol molecule consists of two parts. The first one has the alkyl group and the other has the hydroxyl group. Aldehydes and ketones contain the carbonyl group. In aldehydes, the carbonyl group is located at the terminal end of the molecule, whereas in ketones, 
the carbonyl group is located anywhere between the two terminal ends of the molecule. That's all for now. We will be discussing how to use the mole concept to express mass of substances in our next video, so stay tuned! See you on our next video and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.